Topic 1.11, Causation in the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery. In the 14th century, a whisper of change stirred in Europe, heralding the dawn of the Renaissance, a period keen on revisiting the luminous ideas and aesthetics from ancient Greece and Rome. During this period, individuals like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo emerged, representing a deep inquiry into human nature and the world. Central to this reawakening was a return to classical texts, with scholars such as Petrarch leading the revitalization of ancient writings, which in turn fertilized fresh perspectives in society and encouraged a humanism-centric worldview. Artists and philosophers sought to understand humanity and the environment more profoundly, laying a strong emphasis on individualism and natural surroundings. Art galleries and studios transformed radically as artists such as Titian and Raphael used renewed philosophies to craft personal narratives and express political and re religious goals through their artworks. Art became a powerful tool for expressing human emotions and kindled intellectual debates in societal gatherings, including salons and halls. Parallel to this cultural resurgence, the Age of Discovery marked a series of overseas explorations. Notable figures such as Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama ventured into uncharted territories, propelled by economic interests and religious endeavors. These explorations facilitated encounters with indigenous populations, shaping a rich mosaic of intercultural narratives. The economic landscape began to exhibit signs of transformation. Despite a predominantly agrarian farming society, commerce experienced an upward trajectory, gradually fostering new economic dynamics. Towns began to grow around trading hubs, and a merchant class started to emerge, influencing the rhythms of everyday life with commerce. On the political front, nations embarked on a journey towards consolidated governance, emphasizing sovereignty, the birth of the sovereign state, inspired by the philosophy of thinkers like Jean Baudin, marked a departure from the feudal systems, moving towards governance guided by secular laws and well-defined principles. As Europe navigated its path towards modernity, it embraced an era of transformation, shedding the constraints of the past while fostering a rich tapestry of heritage. This period, fueled by the Renaissance and the bold spirit of the Age of Discovery, sculpted a vibrant Europe wide-eyed and eager for expansive knowledge and exploration, ready to embrace broader horizons and foster a deeper understanding of the world. During the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery, there was a renewed interest in the old works from ancient Greece and Rome. Great thinkers and artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo emerged, bringing forward new concepts and artistic masterpieces influenced by ancient style and philosophy. This period brought many new ideas and changed the way people viewed society and religion as well. The works of scholars like Erasmus and Thomas More started guiding people to think differently, promoting a human-centric approach to life, where individuals had the power to shape their destinies. Thanks to these fresh thoughts, the European society began changing with advancements in business and farming, which became more productive. Innovations in farming and tools, such as the three-field system, finally crop rotation, and the heavy plow, revolutionized agricultural tasks, making them more efficient. Moreover, during the Age of Discovery, Europeans began traveling extensively to distant land. Explorers like Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama took advantage of new navigational tools, like the astrolabe and the compass. This was driven by European powers' ambition to grow and control more regions for trade in new territories. The Columbian Exchange had profound and enduring impacts on the world, and not all of them were positive. This term refers to the period where there was a high level of trade and exchange of goods, ideas, and even diseases between the Old World, Europe, and the New World, the Americas. During this time, a commercial economy emerged stronger making overseas colonies very attractive for economic pursuits. European countries set up colonies where they cultivated cash crops. For instance, the British colonies in the Caribbean became centers for sugar production, 
a valuable commodity to make more alcohol and to get more slaves. Part of this economic system involved the slave trade, where people from Africa were forcibly brought to work on plantations in harsh conditions. This cycle of using enslaved people to cultivate crops, processing those crops in Europe, and then selling the finished products, like sugar turned into refined sugar or rum, formed the early roots of capitalism. Religious motives also fueled this expansion, with groups like the Spanish missionaries looking to spread Christianity to the new territories. However, this expansion came at a heavy price for the indigenous populations of the Americas and Africa. Indigenous groups such as the Aztecs and the Incas faced displacement and drastic population declines due to diseases brought by the Europeans, like smallpox. Simultaneously, millions of Americans lost their freedom and rights as they were forcibly taken away from their homelands and sold into slavery, marking a tragic chapter in human history characterized by loss and suffering. It's a significant aspect to remember and reflect upon while studying this period in history.